tonight's matchup at a catch weight of 150 pounds between Doggo and Benyamin. Ben, when you were, uh, well, you still are, but when you're uh, walking into the cage there, are you a hug guy over there? Do you like to get hugs from your corners, or you just like to get in the cage and get ready to go? Bass you, bass you up and ready to fight, or do you like some hugs from your corners? You know, I might. Every fighter's different. I always watch that stuff. I never know what, you know. I might briefly hug. I really, I really, I'm, you know, personally, I'm just ready to get in the cage. Yeah. And get the fight started, so to speak. How about you? I like to just get in and just get going. I'm not much of a hug guy. Straight to business. Straight to business. As soon as you step out there, it's... And, of course, the other question is, are you a glove toucher? I, I'm not. No, I'm not. And that's not this disrespect at all to my opponent. Not at all. It's just I, I respect him, but and I, there's nothing wrong with doing it. I just, I'm not. Of course, that mentality serves, serves both fighters well. You could probably prove me wrong, but I think a few times I have. I just didn't know. Both fighters eagerly looking to get their next win here. fight was a big priority for this for this matchup. Just feeling each other out. Ben Yamin landed, landed a good leg kick nice there, leg kick controlling there. the center of the ring. Sometimes that's all it takes is just one touch. Finding that distance. Both guys, chins up a little high. Maybe want to put the chins down a little bit. Doggo needs to try and relax here. And find his groove. Good return by Doggo. Both guys got good movement, though. Good, good lateral movement, not so much forward, back. They're kind of moving all around. That's good. Ben Yaman seeming to want to keep the distance tonight. Stay on the outside. Good left hook by Ben Yaman. Nice left hook. Wow, those are fast hands, too. Showing some good athleticism tonight. Benyama doing a great job staying loose. See a solid strikers matchup tonight between these two. Doggo 
Chicago looking for looking for cage control. And he stopped him perfectly. That's what he was looking for, is to try to get him cornered into the cage there. Benyamin showing good experience here. Great first round. Yeah. Tough to call. I think I'd give that round to Benyamin. Not a lot happened. I mean, it really, I mean, damage wise, but I mean, some of the kicks that Benyamin was having landed a little harder. Of course, Doggo seeming to work to control the cage a little bit more. It just depends on how you're looking at it because uh, Benyamin was getting chased around the cage the whole entire time. Absolutely. The judges look at that, you know what I mean? Because there wasn't a lot of damage. There really wasn't much. So he was back and I don't want to say running away, but Dago was definitely controlling the pace. For sure. So it just depends on how you look at that. Certainly seeing an outside fighter versus an inside fighter tonight. I wouldn't want to be judges in some of these rounds and some of these fights because I don't Being into this, what are you telling me? Pressure. Pressure. Take your time. Take your time. They want to get him to the cage, it looks like. That looks like what he's trying to do. Get him to the cage. Take your time with it, though. It will happen. You just can't chase it too hard. If he chases it too hard, he's going to run into something hard. Switching stances from Benyamin. Takedown. A takedown like that can be a big difference maker in, in in a round. And I think that's what Douglas Corners wanted is you know a takedown here, you know, so get some of those points back. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, Benyamin needing to dig for an underhook here and shrimp his feet away. Try to work back to his feet. doing a good job working to push Benyamin's head away. If he can do that, he may be able to free his hips and make enough space to get back up. And not much happening here. <laughs> so really tough second round to call there. You know, there was a takedown and a reversal, but Really, nothing more than that. I mean, on the damage side or nothing, you know. So, I, I don't know how you. It's a close fight. <laughs> Absolutely hard one to call it's for the a judges. Close fight. A 
I think we may expect to see both fighters both fighters come out hard with punches in, the, in this third round here and keep the fight standing. Neither fighter showing a ton of comfort on the ground yet. Takedowns could be the difference between winning and losing here for either fighter. It's a close fight. That's all I'll say. Something needs to happen this uh, third round here to give something for these judges to judge. Something. Absolutely. Oh, Dago. Looking for a takedown there. A head kick attempt by Dago. his hands up really well. We've been watching that the whole fight. His hands don't drop too much, which is very good. In the third round and something like this where you see a little bit where Enyan's hands are down just a, a tick. It's easy for a right hand to sneak, sneak in here late. It only takes one. Doggo working hard here to keep him against the cage. A little foot stomp action here. Those hurt. Or they piss you off. <laughs> and if Doggo's looking for a takedown here, he needs to work to pull Benjamin against off his hips away from the cage. Good knees by Doggo. His takedown's there if he can grab that lowers level. And he gets a takedown. He's got to get his head out, though. That's a okay. Now he's in good position. Great pressure by Doggo. That scores, he's scoring here. Doggo showing his cardio here. Late in the third round. Doggo opening up a little bit here, doing a little ground and pound. Could be big points for him in this fight. In a big close fight. Yep. He's working hard to get the sweep here. Doggo passes. passes to Great fight. Good fight, close fight. I think that third round may be the difference maker. Here. I do too. I think so too. Um, again, it's razor close, but. I've been wrong before, and uh, but I, I'd have to say I'm gonna give that to Doggo just because I would third, agree. But, you know those first two rounds, very even between the two. Very even. It just depends on which way you uh, may have seen a at slight it. edge in the first round by Ben, but I think Doggo really stole that third round and probably the difference for this fight. Let's we'll see how the judges call it. I won't be shocked if I hear something different, though. I mean, completely shocked. Would not be shocked to hear a split decision for this fight. But I would say that third round was definitely the, the best round that Doggo had that, so. Definitely where most of that damage in this fight was done as well. Doggo showing great heart. All right, ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, a round of applause for these two warriors. We go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29, 28, for the player running out of the red Doggo. And so the judge has seen something different, you know, and that's what I say you know, all the time. You just don't know. And, I, and I'm not taking that away from him at all. I mean, it was a close fight. And Good matchup. Yeah. Ben improving to two and four. I, I saw two big takedowns by Doggo, and I thought that was... Good fight. Good fight.